So today I'm going to give you four different exercises. Two of them is the same as the ones that I've given you. Two of them is going to be a little bit different. Okay. Um, the other two is going to help you build the coordination and the control um, of like how you sound and build that coordination between your diaphragm without using the shoulders and the plane. Did you ever use that when playing the game? Basketball? Uh, uh, yes. Yeah, the yeah. diaphragm? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's just start off with a two minute game. We're going to inhale for five counts and then begin to yeah. exhale. Please. All right. So mouth nice and long. Inhale. One, two, three, four, five. And then exhale. One, two, three, four, and five. Inhale again. One, two, three, four, five. And exhale. One, two, three, four, five. Not bad. All right, two more times. Inhale. One, two, three, four, five. And exhale. One, two, three, four, and five. Last one. Inhale. One, two, three, four, five. And then exhale. One, two, three, four, and five. So do you feel like the, the cost expanding when you enter the fifth count? Beautiful. Yeah, it's a it's a little harder once I get the five to like continue to find air. But, mm -hmm. you know, it's it's better than it was. Okay, good. And whenever you feel like you're having trouble with that, just inhale slower. Yeah, yeah. start I, sometimes I take it all in at once and then I'm like, oh I have nowhere to go now. <laughs> so anyway, that's the big count. <laughs> all right. <clears throat> so let me show you that big pad. I'm not teaching you English. All right. Two, let's do the he, hey, ha, ho, who. Let me grab my metronome here. So we're gonna start at, I'll explain all this moment jumbo here, 40 uh, BPM, sure. which means slow speed. So we're gonna take a breath in between each change of the vowel. He, hey, ha, ho, and who. So be he, hey, ha, ho, who. So this this is a great ab workout, by the way. Yeah. Nice. So he, hey, breathe. Ha, ho, who. Again. He, hey, ha, ho. Who again? He, hey, ha, ho, who again? He, hey, ha, ho, who again? He, hey, ha, ho, who again? He, hey, ha, ho. Who again? He, hey, ha, ho. Who again? He, hey, ha, ho. Who? All right, we're going to stop here. Now, we are going to start off at the slower speed. Only reason because, again, to build coordination. But don't worry, it will become challenging over the next couple of weeks. All right. And what I mean by challenging, the speed will go up. So like my advanced students, so we, he, hey, ha, ho, who, he, hey, ha, ho, who, he, hey, ha, ho, who, he, hey. Well, 
while still maintaining the support without like feeling like they're losing breath. Right. And that's one of the things, especially with ha- with fast songs, a lot of people tend to hold their breath for yeah. long periods of time, and they're always causing gasping for air. It's like, oh, I need to actually breathe now. Right. They run out of steam. Yeah, and yeah. So I'm like, no, nope, you want to actually breathe the same way you talk. Especially for people that talk really fast, they actually still breathe. Okay, now here is an exercise. One of my favorites called the cowboy squat. Oh yeah. <coughs> Start low and then you. Mhm. So this is really going to help you expand the range. Okay. Now the reason I love this breathing exercise two is that it really creates a form of an awareness of what your body is doing so when you start doing that five count breath and you inhale you feel the expansion in your midsection and then you see exhale you're going to start feeling that contraction going very soft it's, it's all in one breath right. And you're gonna feel that vibration of the chest voice, which we're gonna discuss a bit more today. And then as you get to the higher notes, you're gonna pull your stomach just a little bit faster, not all the way in, because you still have to go back down. But but that sudden pull, you get an extra energy boost. That's why we squat. Okay. So I'm not gonna squat because I am wearing your short dress. Mm-hmm. So all right, let's try this together. So we inhale for five counts and we're gonna exhale um he in the high notes. Yeah. Just like a cowboy. Yeah. Inhale. One, two, oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Inhale. One, two, three, four, five, then exhale. Now, as you squat, the fat moves the groin. You're going to slowly come up at the speed you are singing. Again, this exercise is all about control. Now, like, okay, I'm going up now. Right. If you want, um, I can do like a video link for you to Thank you, Leslie. Of course. Problem. <laughs> I want to make sure my students have their full time. Okay. It's all the more. Question is up. This is called the shh exercise. Now, one of the things that I like about doing it, and I don't say a lot, is that it's all about the control and putting it forward. So, using a timer, and this is something that you can do now today, or you know your colleagues that are like, no longer about to do it. You're gonna exhale for five counts, and then you're gonna exhale. And you're gonna shh until you can't shh anymore. Once you stop, you can't go back. That's cheating. So let's just take these. Inhale, five counts, and inhale into shoe four. Again, one, 
Sitting out, but you still had a lot of air. Sixteen seconds of one motion is not bad. My goal for you this week is twenty seconds. Yeah. Okay. Now let's let's get into fun stuff. Now, like I mentioned, I do have a good voice, but one thing that it's kind of lacking a little bit is that found that foundation. It's a bit disconnected. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna start in your lower notes. And we're gonna use that same vowel the he, he, ha, ho, and ho. strong vibration and the higher you go the vibration is going to go upward towards around your neck so inhale okay
some abs there yeah for sure <laughs> good 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 that's a good pain <clears throat> all right now let's definitely make you uncomfortable we're gonna take those high notes okay. so do me a favor and go oh boy oh boy all right now eventually you'll be able to go higher than that okay, so here we're gonna start off let's go from middle e to be above middle c and we're gonna go start off, let's start off with wah. So here, this is called your head voice. This is the voice that you want to use to sing your higher notes. No belting for you yet. Repeat after me. Repeat. maintains going up and forward, right? Mm -hmm. That's the same direction our voice wants to go. Of it, you're putting it back oh. out. 
So that's the counting of bell day, I guess. That's how it's still going inwards. Feel that little difference? That's like different? Yeah. Probably just for like, eh, yeah, no, no more. Um, so my goal for is that E flat, that to be above uh, the C above middle C. That second black P instead of two. Um, now, again, this is all about breath support. When dealing with high notes, you know, especially if starting the high note. You want to start pulling into a little bit fast. As you're going lower, you're going to pull at <coughs> less speed. And when you go back up, because you need that, that room, you're going to pull it again. Right? And this will help you get out of your throat. Yeah. And also, you get to practice your woman voice. Oh, good. I repeat Mouse voice, too. Yeah, yeah, you know, but it still sounds like the guy trying to pretend to be a woman, anyways. Right, either way. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So. <clears throat> Music. Do you remember how to read music? Uh, no. I mean, I can, like, obviously, if I, if you show me and I, you help me with the note, I can see if it's going up or down. Mm -hmm. um, I remember, like, you know, E, G, D, D, F, and F, A, C, kind of that. Like where they are, then the yeah, trumpet clap so, like, and all that? Right, so it's the lines are E, G, B, D, F, and then the middle's F, A, C, E, is that right? Mm-hmm. And, and what's this note? Sorry. Uh, uh A? No. Is, up. is that something flat? You will be or? right if it doesn't be bass clef. Right, perfect. <laughs> uh, what is it? It's middle C. Middle C. I don't know that. Okay. So let me Also, it doesn't help because I don't like, I don't know what it is, but like, I don't know what an E sounds like. If you do it, I can eventually match it. But mm -hmm. like, I don't like that. If you're just like singing E, I'm like, like. Well, the thing is, when it comes to note names, it varies per pitch. Oh, okay. Because, so fun fact, every line in space in the staff um, represents a white key on the oh, note okay. of the piano. Gotcha. So the higher it goes, right? So here we have a B. Uh, Because since above the staff, it's gonna be higher, so therefore it will be this particular pitch. Okay. And this is and this applies to all instruments. Right. It's going to be the same thing. Whatever play that's going to be that specific sound okay. of that B. Okay, so yes, you are right. E G B D S. Oh, we can totally sit down and chill.
and face. Actually, I don't need to write that down. You know it. Now, there's these things that we have that's called ledger lines, which you have seen in your music. Now, any, now ledger lines you're going to consider as an extension of the staff. This music, the sounds are going to be infinite. Now, the way to, to read them, actually, let's just go with your music here. The lower you go on the staff, the musical alphabet is going to go backwards. Okay. There was my Bostonian. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Where are you from? Uh, Virginia. Virginia. Well, oh. I was born in South Carolina. I grew up on in D.C. Oh, okay. So you know the whole East Coast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yes, I still say bang the Yui. Uh, <laughs> awesome. um, and then the higher the note goes on the staff, the musical alphabet is going to go forwards. Okay. So. <laughs> forwards and backwards, got it. <laughs> and you know, okay. what is those Lazarus I'm telling you? Like the girl out of Boston. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the first line in E, if. A note comes underneath that first line. So let's check it out over here. Stop. Go away. What note? Don't blame me. I can't draw. Um, what note would this be if it's underneath the E line? D. This is why I'm not a graphic designer. Let's see. D. And notice how I'm keeping these lines in the same position. But you can always add an extra line. This can go forever. Right. This is why we have clefts in the first place. Okay. Mm-hmm. So if we look at this music here, let me clear all drawings. What would be the first note here? Oh, sorry. Let me. I have it here. Oh, okay. So the first note is... This will be your last question of the day, so now you have to get going. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, uh, okay, so, so... Where does it... Where, where does the letter stop on the music alphabet? So it's... So the, the line... The last letter? Meaning, so like I'm if I'm looking at this right the so if this is if the line is E mm -hmm. it would be D C B A and then where do I go? All right, so G will be underneath that second line. So that's F. Mhm. Mm okay. So F. Uh, oh, this thing is F sharp. Okay, F sharp, and then the next one is um, C. Mhm. Mm so F C C. Um, A. Correct. Yep. G G. A A. Wait. So F F sharp C sharp C sharp B A A then. O. Back for a. For in a while. Gotcha. Okay. F sharp. How about while. But no uh, unwild. B. Uh-huh. A. Good. Now, um, I know you have to get going. So whenever you see the key signature here, do you remember what that was? Okay. Um, this represents what notes are going to be sharp, all of them, um, unless dictated otherwise in the music. So all the Fs are going to be sharp. All the Cs are going to be sharp and all the G's are going to be sharp. So, so that first note where it says we yeah. will be F sharp. Okay. 
all the G's that you see will be G sharp, and all the C's that you see will be C sharp. Um, Where does that dictate that? I'm sorry. Oh, do you see like the hashtags? The, the hashtags? Signs. Yeah. Number signs? Yeah, yeah. So they're actually on top of the line of or spaces dictating which notes are going to be on the sharp. So that first one, you'll check. Uh, That's F. Uh -huh, the and fifth line on top is F sharp. Sharp A. No, nope. C sharp. Mm -hmm. And then. Uh, that one's on top of the fifth line. So G sharp? Yup. Okay. So F, C, G sharp. F sharp, C sharp, G sharp. And what is sharp again? Sharp means that you're raising a note by a half step. Mm -hmm. okay. So in essence, you're making it slightly higher. There's an app I'd like for you to do, uh, to download, called Perfect Piano. Because even though you have this, like so you can hear the pitches and everything, but this helps for people who are visual. Yeah. Are you visual learning? Yeah. Okay. Perfect piano, there's two. So we have F sharp, which will be F3, and I'll show you. Na, 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 na. So you can associate the sound um, when learning the song. And this will actually, this is one of the tips that will help you actually learn the melody of the song. It's when you actually like see it, what you're doing, it it creates a recognition. Coordination. Okay. All right, so torture's over. <laughs> Any questions? Anything they'd like me to quickly go over? No. Nope. All right, of course. Stop share. And.